Hello everyone. Uh, we are going to solve the problem maximum size of a set from removals from the weekly contest uh, or else you can encounter in the daily challenge as well. So before going into the problem I want to say that try this problem for at least 20 minutes. Try to visualize the things. If you if you did not try the problem and you came directly to watch the solution then I can guarantee you that you will not understand anything because this problem involves lot of visualizations so if you try if you try you will try to write all the basic scenarios then we will see like what is the main crux and what is the edge scenario for this in this approach because i will not tell you the basic scenarios so basic scenarios you need to think you need to think by yourself then you have to come and it's few scenarios if you get stuck you can watch the video tutorial so i i think you have tried it now let's understand the problem you are given two zero indexed array nums1 and nums2 of even length. Yeah? You must remove n by 2 elements from nums1 and n by 2 elements from nums2. After the removal, you insert the remaining elements of nums1 and nums2 into a set S. He is saying that you can remove half of the elements from num1 and half of the elements from num2 and you can insert into the set. We need to return the maximum possible size of the set. Okay, let's see this example. Now we have one two only two occurrences we have one two and in nums we have all ones so maximum it can be two right now if we in this scenario we have six elements we have we can take one two three four five six into the one set and we have two comma three here how many maximum elements you can form you can form two comma three I can take from nums two and here we have six different elements. Six, you can take only three from this only n by two you can take I will take four five six that means four five six two comma three into the answer set so my answer will be five now let's see this scenario we have one two three here and we have four five six and there is no inter intersections so directly we got six as my answer so we'll see two approaches in this problem first approach which I have solved in the contest and second approach after the contest I thought like how can we solve this problem in better possible way? First we will see. Consider this example. We have this example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 2. Set 1 is something which is the unique values. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In this, in this vector we should take only 4 elements, right? So we have taken 4 elements. How many extra elements are left? We have left with 2 more elements, right? We have left with 2 more elements. So now we have V2 we have these values and in set 2 we have this all v2s are unique now this extra two elements if i am taking if i am taking 1 2 3 4 as my first set 1 2 3 4 as my first set and in the second set in the second set how many you can take uh you can take 5 3 2 and 9 5 3 2 9 or else 1 3 you can't take because it is repeating you can take 5 9 10 5 9 10 right uh, 5 9 10 11 you can take 5 9 10 and 11 mm. sorry this should be even I forgot to add one more element which is 12 uh, which is 12 I can take four elements so yeah we are getting 8 as my answer but if you see here we have four elements we can take extra two elements while we are iterating we will check now we have one here one one in S2 and we have one in S1 as well one in S1 as well so if I am having one here can I take this one or this one I can take any one of this right we have left with two extra elements in this we have four elements we have left with two extra elements so what I will do is that here from S1 I will not take one I will not take one from S2 I will take one from H2 I will take one my remaining will be left with only one element now the remaining will be left with one element now we have 5 now in S1 my 5 is present yes, my 5 is present in S1 now here I left with one remaining element so here I will take 5 and my remaining will be 0 and I am considering my 5 as well my considering 5 as well now we have uh, 3 now if you want to take 3 my element is present so I, I I can't exclude it right because my remaining is zero or my how my remaining elements are getting after uh, n by 2 n by 2 which is the size total unique minus n by 2 that means we will get the remaining elements which are unique and when we are at 3 
this is failing right when we are at 3 now this 3 is considered this 3 i can't take because in this only i am taking my four values 3 same with 2 i can't take because my remaining is 0 9 is yes, definitely i can take and i can append it c plus plus c is here 2 and now my c will become 3 and 10 my c will become 4 after reaching 4 you can can you take 11 no right if i reaching four elements here and four elements here then total i can reach eight elements because only you can take n by two elements you can take only n by 2 elements. I think you have got it. The main crux of the problem is extra elements. I will explain you with the code. Now you will get the better understanding. This thing trying the coding part is a bit difficult. That's why I am directly explaining you. So s1 dot insert i, s2 dot insert i. Then we will check n m is my actual sizes of uh, v1. So these are uh, equal n is equals to m. I did not see the condition. Int x is equals to s1 dot size s2 dot size and here answer equals to minimum of n by 2 comma x that means suppose we have 1 1 1 1 all ones then my uh, x will be only 1 or else i can be like 1 2 3 4 my x will be 4 right all unique elements here so answer will be n by 2 comma x which is my minimum 1 or 4 i will take the minimum value then the remaining are something which we can accommodate from s2 which I can accommodate from H2. These are all my remaining elements. We will take remaining is equals to x minus answer. Int c is equals to 0. c is second, second, uh, second set size. Then I will iterate through the H2 and I will check s1 dot find i is equals to s1 dot n. If my i is not present in s1, then definitely I can increment the counter. Definitely you can increment the counter. And if it is there and if my remaining is greater than 0, that means I can accommodate uh, if I am getting these values and here I have only only 1 comma 2 not this many big values only 1 comma 2 can I accommodate that, those values yes definitely you can accommodate because 1 is directly going in this and in this we are not including the 1 not including that's why we are incrementing the counter and we are uh, remaining elements are subtracted and if my count is greater than or equals to m by 2 then I will break it out because you can take only hardly n by 2 elements and I am adding answer plus c answer plus c uh, I think you understood this approach this approach takes n into log n because you, we are using the set n into log n and the space we are using extra space which will be order of n I think you have understood this approach so before going to the next approach uh, I want to say that uh, I have created a whatsapp community so code with confidence so if you are interested you can join that community where uh, in there we will discuss various uh, daily challenge problems from the lead code and we will discuss the contest problems you can join there we will see the another approach called intersection approach now first we will convert set uh, v1 into set 1 and v2 into set 2 then in s3 we will add the intersection you can write the coding part this is the high level of the logic only s1 dot intersection s2 this is my s3 and in answer 1 we are taking length of s1 minus length of s that means intersection part if you have 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 here we will take only uh, my 2 3 is intersection part 2 3 is my intersection part we have 1 4 and 5 right only 1 4 5 we can take 1 4 5 out of these many elements in answer 2 we have 2 3 as intersection part this is my answer 1 in answer to 2 3 is my in intersection part I can take 6 comma 7 right I can take 6 comma 7 these are my unique values answer equals to length of h2 minus length and m by 2 it should not exceed the length now in answer 3 we will calculate answer 1 plus answer 2 and we will check whether 2 comma 3 can accommodate so here we have length here we have uh, length as uh, 8 here we have length as consider this as well as 8 so we can add two more extra elements 8 and 8 we have accommodate how many elements here we have already accommodate 5 elements 5 elements you can accommodate 3 more elements you can consider one more elements as 8 and 9 8 and 9 you can accommodate 8 and 9 here and you can accommodate only one element plus length of s3 comma n plus length of s3 will increase you to 9 but my 8 is maximum so I will return 8 if there is no intersection it will be my 7 so I think you have got this approach 
so try to understand try to think about this approach for better understanding so i think you have got it uh, if you understood it please consider to like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe i will see you in the next video till then bye bye